Morning, everybody. Happy what day is today? Wednesday? Happy hump day. Matthew Wake the Angler. I'm out today with, you guys all know this guy, Captain Tony Bupa. And you may not know this guy, Captain Paul Nagel. Paulie. Yeah. So I've known these guys since 1995, the spring of 95, when I got home from the Army. I walked down the dock in Oswego, and I was asking captains if they needed help as a mate. Tony was the only one that day that really was the only one that really gave me the time of day and talked to me and said, sure, I could use your help. It was the spring and you guys were, both of you were fishing midnight walleyes on Oswego. We were exhausted. We needed help. <laughs> they needed a guy to, to stand in the back of the boat. And, and so that's how I met uh, both of you. And I fished as the mate for both of you on your, on your old boat up in Oswego. And for years and years and we've known each other now for 27 years and today and i said it the other morning yesterday morning in the morning report today is the first time ever in all in those 27 years that the three of us have fished together at the same time and thank you because this was a lot of fun this morning. It was a pleasure this thank was you. a lot of fun we uh mike Urima from i1 baits and i were out with tony a month ago month and a half ago and we were jigging and Tony wanted to show his trolling program, which we ended up with, we caught six this morning, three keepers, three throwbacks, in a really gnarly southwest wind. So the fishing report part of things is we left the dock about 6.15 this morning, air temp was in the mid 60s, water temp is still in the low 70s, but the wind was ripping out of the southwest, all of 15 if not more right oh yeah easily I mean, you know so we did troll we got one good troll downwind we started up right off the right off shackleton there at um at cornell right that shackleton, yeah, shackleton point. point i have to ask because i'm a west end north shore guy i don't get down this way very often so we started there and we made one really long trolling pass south or uh, not south east and and we got our fish we had you will see a full video from today where I go with Tony and he walks us through every rod position, what he's using, where, why. So that video will be coming up. Like I say, the morning reports are just a recap of our day. We've already been out fishing. We're back here at the dock now and now we're telling everybody what we did. I'll have this full length video out at a later date um, and I'll let everybody know. But when I do the full length videos, that's our actual day of fishing. That's the actual fishing action. The morning report is just the recap of what we did, what the conditions were, those kind of things. So, um, how long? So let's let's talk real quick about trolling. We're at three minutes. We got probably three more minutes to go. So let's talk real quick about the trolling program. Time of year. I know you're a jig fisherman normally, but if you were a troller. Could you be doing this from from the beginning of the season all the way to ice up? I could, but I prefer the hands-on fishing, and so do my early clients that customarily fish May and June with me, and that they know that that's either jigging or spinning in the weeds. So okay. I prefer to do that then, simply because that's what they like. But once we get to July, uh, definitely it's time to take a look at the trolling. Some days, part of the trip, is spent in the weeds, second half of the trip is spent trolling. But once we get to August, it's strictly trolling all through August, all through September. We get into October and the magic number is 63 degrees, generally starts a pretty good jig bite. So I'm back tossing blades, okay. jigging wraps, etc. So that's your number, that, that low to mid 60s is your number to that, really get last, back. Last two years, October 6th. Both years. Really? And some of my friends, including Jack Henke, was into them two or three days prior to that. Okay. Now, what, um, damn it, I just had a question on the tip of my tongue and I forgot it. Typical. Uh, how late, how late will you be chartering in this season? What, when? <laughs> Until when? the snow flies and, <laughs> and the docks get icy enough that it's too much liability for me to put people in this boat. <laughs> I've gone all the way through Thanksgiving several years, and, but the most recent years we seem to have a, a spat where there's 
six to ten days of nasty weather coming in, I just can't take the chance of leaving the boat in. So I've pulled as early as November 6th, and I've pulled as late as the last day of the month. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Well, so anybody still, I know Tony said earlier that he has a few days left open. If anybody's still looking for a walleye charter this season, this fall, I'll have his information down below. Most everybody in our area knows how to get a hold of them, but uh, if you're still looking for a charter, Tony's got some openings he can hook you up. Whether you want to troll, whether you want to jig, whatever. So, all right, everybody, I think that'll do it for today. We had a great day, a lot of fun, um, and caught some fish. So, I'll, uh, let's talk about part two coming up. Oh, yeah. So, this, we finally just got blown off today. This wind just got, just got out of control. We were in the process of changing over to a full, yeah, great, great idea. We just, get, we were in the process of trading over and bringing all the sticks in and putting a full worm harness spread out, which we were all looking forward to, but let's, you want to show the rod, the whole setup of the rod? Let's, so, uh, I already pulled it off, I think. It's right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, you can hold that one. Is that doable? Yeah. All right. So this is a, we're going to talk real quick. We'll do a tackle segment. Um, I'll have information on this because this is new to me. I just saw this today in Tony's box of tricks. So uh, I'm going to let Tony talk about it. It's it's a locally made bottom bouncer. So go ahead. All right. So this is called a long stick Gobi Be Gone bottom bouncer because the gobies can't get to your bait because the stick is long enough. Gobies can't get up that high to get to your bait. This was conceived and created by Tim Ternus. Uh, and he's the grandfather. His son, Jeff. Ternus is involved with this, and the grandson Dylan has uh, worked with these. Those gentlemen have won several walleye tournaments uh, in the area, and they are crackerjack fishermen. As a matter of fact, Matt and I will be doing a segment uh, on their boat with these things and a whole presentation of how they fish this stuff with panoptics involved. Uh, but if you're interested in these, I will give Matt the information on how to contact Tim. Uh, they're located down at Sylvan Beach where they have a camp. They're not from the area. They're off near Soda someplace. And uh, they have a, a nice shop down there uh, where you can buy these. So at any rate, we're going to have a segment part two that will be dedicated just using these with a full worm harness program. It just got too rough today. We had to come in. And real quick, the beauty of these harnesses is as you can see, you got a rubber stop, top and bottom. All these are are lead egg sinkers. You could make this stick weight as heavy or as light as you wanted, from one ounce up to as many as you could fit on here. This is pretty interesting. I've never, I've never seen this style before. It's all hand bent. I'm assuming it's stainless rod. Uh, very interesting. So I'll have all the information. They for have, that. They have fished these at Lake Erie, 100 feet of water, bottom bouncing. Wow. Well, I don't doubt it. I so mean, that's that's a pretty a stout rig. Yeah. yeah, and we were running them today at four ounces in a two and three foot following sea, and, and there was obviously no problem getting them right down to the bottom. Right. And what was the deepest we fished today? Deepest I fished today was 37 feet. Okay. So, all right. Thanks, everybody. It's been a, It's been a pretty great day. I, I'm fortunate to do things that I love doing with people that I truly enjoy spending time with. And I get to share it with everybody out there, which is even better. So thanks for, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support. And as always, keep your tip up. All right. <laughs>